Hi, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be. This is Cal Banner from YouTube's Cal Banner Report, posting my first ever video response to a question that was put out there. Uh, to the young lady who was asking about religion in general, um, she said that she's been to several pastors and asked some of her friends and just can't seem to quite find the, the truth on it all. Um, and also mentioned something about earliest memories being from Satan. Uh, it's kind of out there, but we're going to go ahead and tackle that. Um, <clears throat> First of all, let's talk about religion for a moment, all right? People have been messing up religion for years, I think, because everybody in every branch of it is trying to find a textbook answer for their faith, all right? They try to use a Bible. They try to use books. They try to find all the stuff that's already written and put out there. And the bottom line is, guess what? Religion and faith are very, very personal aspects of our lives, all right? That's what it is. Religion is one of the most personal things for us to do it right, to truly enjoy it, to truly benefit from it. Then we need to sit down and find that personal relationship with our deity of choice. Whether you be Christian, Catholic, you know, Buddhist, atheist, whatever it is, you have to really make that decision. If you're an atheist, obviously you have to sit down and make that intelligent decision that you just don't see yourself believing in anything. Don't just do it because, you know, the cool kids are doing it. Don't just do it because you're mad at your parents because they made you go to church and you're just wanting to rebel. You know, if you're going to make a decision like that, you have to make sure that you're making it for the right reasons. Because religion and faith can be very beneficial to our lives when applied correctly. Me personally, I'm Catholic. I was raised Catholic. Um, and, of course, I went through my rebellious phase with it. Uh, when I was a teenager, when I was in high school, I went through this phase where I was just really trying to find who I was in, when it came to uh, faith and belief. And it wasn't until I stepped back from everything, really explored myself and uh, found what worked for me, that I found happiness in my uh, Catholicism. And the same goes for anybody, whatever you are. You know, so many people jump on religions now because, you know, Wicca's cool or, you know, this cool Pentecostal church because they play, you know, rock music or whatever. And they're just doing it for the wrong reasons. You know, great, go to your pastor, go to your priest, use your Bibles, whatever it takes, you know, to help you get a little bit of guidance there to kind of help you make informed decisions. But when it comes to actually deciding on what religion is right for you, what faith spectrum is the one that fulfills you, you're not going to find it anywhere except within yourself. You know, you really have to sit down and explore who you are, what you want to give to the world. And then and only then will you find the right religion for you you know, um, if any at all, you know, um, now what you mentioned about your pastor telling you that your first earliest memories are from Satan, I see he could have been referencing, um, the concept of original sin, which is that we're all born with, uh, sin on us from the very beginning, the first people, Adam and Eve, I guess. And that's why he may have said that. I wouldn't really overthink that too much. A lot of pastors, in my opinion, are a little bit too concerned about Satan um, and not concerned enough about the people. You know, I mean, it's easy to sit there and tell somebody, you know, you're going to go to hell if you don't do it this way. We got people like that uh, where I'm from in New Orleans that walk around the French Quarter and will literally surround you and tell you, hey, you know, if we don't get an on-the-spot conversion from you, you're going to go to hell. And to me, that's just the worst thing. All that does is ruin religion for the people out there who would benefit from it. In my opinion, religion is like parsley on a really good steak dinner. You know, the steak and the potatoes, that's life. That, that's what we do every day. That's what sustains us. Religion is like the parsley on the side. It makes it prettier. It makes it look better. It makes it feel better. It makes you just a little bit more excited to get up every day. Um, religion is simply there to help fulfill you a little bit. It's not really, in my opinion, supposed to be a guiding aspect of your life as far as like if you pay your bills on time or if you don't go and mug somebody. You know, because the bottom line is whether you're uh, religious or whether you're a, an atheist, you should know that mugging somebody is wrong. You shouldn't need religion to guide you on those fundamental values of being a good person. Religion, I think, is more or less what tells us, well, hey, you know, there's a guy down there that doesn't have any food. Maybe I can go down there and afford to give him $10 so he can go eat tonight. You know, religion is that kind of helps us do those more, uh, less tangible good deeds. The things that aren't going to so much help us look better in front of our friends or help us keep our cell phones from getting turned off. or But it's those things that get you to go volunteer at the Red Cross or get you to go volunteer at the soup kitchen. It's those little things like that I think that religion is there for. You know, it kind of helps you just make those decent little good people decisions. You know, something you could do or not do either way, and nobody's going to look down upon you, but you still do it just because 
you feel a little voice inside you saying it's the right thing to do. That is my personal take on religion. It's just something there to kind of enhance your life in a positive way. And if it's not enhancing your life in a positive way, then there's a good possibility that you are following the wrong religion. Um, you should never really have to not feel good about what you're doing when it comes to going to church or praying, uh, whatever you, like I said, whatever your religious preference may be. It should always be self-fulfilling. You should always feel better about yourself during and after whatever sort of rituals or ceremonies or sessions or whatever it is that you want to do. You should always have a, a feeling like, wow, I did something good today. You know, and that's when you know you're doing it right, I believe. That is truly when you know you're doing it right. So that's my advice to you, is take some time out, put down the Bible, stop talking to the pastors, and kind of go out and just find yourself and find what works for you. If the religion you were raised with, I don't, I'm not quite sure what it was, but if that is what helps you, then good. Then there, you're already there. You don't even have to go search around. The hard part's done. Um, but maybe you need to go out there, kind of experience around with a few other you know, religious ideas and see what works for you. And believe me, you will know... Religion is almost like dating the right person. You know, when you find that right person, you know you found the right person. And religion is kind of the same way. So don't be afraid to go out and experience the religious dating pool, so to speak. Um, but anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any other further questions, if I was helpful to you at all, then please feel free to uh, to respond back or hit me up with an email through the YouTube account. Either way. Um, anyway, this has been uh, the first ever Cal Banner Reach Out and Help Someone session. That's right. The, the bird of friendship flies by and Cal Banner reaches out to uh, strike you with the BAM of goodness. That is the Cal Banner Report BAM of goodness. If this was helpful, please, please feel free to thank me because, you know, we could all get an ego stroke every now and then. You guys have a great day. This is Cal Banner out.